Good morning, children. Welcome to the science class. Let's start the class with a prayer. I'll close your eyes. Join your hands. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. We'll come back to the science class again. So we have finished two chapters. Again, we are going to the third chapter. Remember the first chapter and the second chapter. What did you learn in the first chapter? About the living things. The different the features of living things. Features of non-living things. Isn't it? Then the second chapter we have learned about the living thing. What was it? About us. About the different organs in us. The body parts of organs. Organ system. Yes. Understood the term organ system? Yeah. The group of organs. Uh, organs will work together as a group uh, to do a special duty and that group is called as a organ system. It's called the organ system. That was the second chapter. Again we are coming to the third chapter. In this chapter we are going to learn about a living thing. Again another type, another living thing which is different from the others, from the animals and the, uh, this, um, us human beings. What is the feature? What is the difference means? It is this living thing. It can. Uh, we, the, the animals, but the animals cannot do it. And we also cannot do it. These creatures, these, this living thing, they can do it. That is, they are able to fly. So, who is that? Which is that living thing? Yeah, they are the birds. Birds can fly. That is a feature which other the animals and you don't have that ability to fly. Yes. So what do they have to fly? They have wings to fly. So about that living thing, about the birds, we are going to learn in this chapter. More about the birds, the parts of the birds, which are the body parts of the birds and how do the birds fly? What makes the birds fly? Those things you are going to learn in this chapter. So, now, you have seen birds. Have you seen birds? Yes or no? Is there anyone sitting here who didn't see a bird? Yes. If anyone is there, please go out and look. Oh, go out and look. You can find any one bird. The most common bird, you can see a black color. One a nice good song they will be singing, going on singing. Which is it? Crow. That is a bird. Yes. There. It is a common bird you can see. Then also there are many other birds. If you observe your surroundings, if you go to your courtyard and if you look there, you can see many. On the trees up you can see not only crows, you can see there are many other birds. Different, different varieties of birds. Colorful birds will be there. Huh? The birds who will sing sweetly. Cuckoo. Yeah, there are many birds. Again, today itself after this class, you go and observe the, observe your uh, surroundings. Outside you go. Look up in the tree or on the sky. You can see many birds flying. Okay. So find all those things after the class. Now we'll come back to the class. Anyway, you have seen a, a bird. Everybody has seen. Now can you tell me what's the difference between a bird? What are the features which make the birds different from the animals and human beings? What is it? The first one is they have wings. Then any other thing. Then we all have the lips. This thing. Instead of it, what do the birds have? Do they have these lips? No. What do they have instead of it? They have, they are, uh, they are picking up the food with the help of their beak. They have beak. Understood? So they have beak, they have wings and also their body is covered with feathers. Two very. Yes? Now crow, what's the color of the feather of the crow? You will be getting at the feathers. When, when it is all falling, the feathers will be falling off. Your yeah, black color. Then, have you seen a parrot? What's the color of the parrot? Green color. It's having green color feather. So, its body is covered with feathers. So, these are some of the features which make a bird different from the other living things. So, what are the features which make them different? They are the beaks, beaks, wings and the feathers. Yes, now we will see the body parts of the birds. That's what you are going to study in this chapter again. The body parts of the birds. Yes, 
So, here I have drawn a bird. You see my the bird. You can see the bird. We are going to write here which are the main body parts. First, you see. Which are the three? The, there are three main body parts. We first we will mark. The first one, what is it? Which makes different, which are uh, different from the other living things. What is it? Beak. The first we can mark here. Beak. And what is the beak used for? Yeah, to pick the food, to eat the food. With the help of this, they are picking up the food. And also with the help of another one, I'll tell you. First one we mark it. Beak. Then what do they have? The thing which help us to fly. Yes, wings. Two wings. Wings you can see. Again, they have feet. They have feet and on their feet they have a long curved nails which help them to catch something. If it is an eagle and all, they will be catching the small chicks. How they catch? They have, how they catch with the help of that long that claws. We'll tell it claws. On the end of the feet, they have long curved nails which help them to catch their prey. Yeah. Hmm? So that is the claw. C L A W S. On the end here, they have claws. So that is just I'm writing and giving you here. Then so the main body parts are beak, wings. Feet and also here you can see that is the tail. Tail. These are the main body parts of the bird. Which are they? Beak, wings, feet and the tail. And on the feet they have the long curved, na curved nails to help them to catch their prey. Yes. So that is called the claw. Yes. Again, which are the other parts? Which are the other body parts? You can tell. They have eyes. Then their body is covered with the their body is covered with the feathers. Their body is covered with feathers. Then anything else? So these are the important parts. The body, the other parts are eyes and the feathers. Okay, their body is fully covered with feathers. Yes. Now listen. The beak. It helps to bite and chew the food. And all the birds are not only eating the nuts and all. Now some birds will be eating the other birds, other small ones. So according to their food habits, the shape and the size of the beaks will change. Some will be very pointed according to the food what they are eating. It will change. That will be learning in the next, uh, next part. Then wings for what purpose? It helps them to fly. Then feet up oh, to walk. They will be walking. Then the what is a claw? What is a feet used for? It is used for catching the holding the uh, catching the prey. Then also to sit on ice or to climb on the trees and hold the tree branches when they are sitting. For that purpose, it is used. And some birds will swing. At that time also, they are using this feet for all these purposes. They are using the feet. Again, the tail when they are flying and all. Huh? Now they are going straight. Now they want to change the direction. I don't want to go straight. I want to go to the left side. So words, how do they change the direction? With the help of their tail. They change the direction with the help of their tail. Understood. So these are the different duties of the different body parts of the birds. Did you understand it? Did you understand it? So if I ask, the, if I ask to mark each um, body part, you should be able to mark it. So learn the diagram. Not to, Don't want to draw it and learn. To able, you should be able to identify the different body parts of the birds. Okay, so that is about the body parts of birds. Now you will see how do the birds fly. How do the birds fly? In one word you can tell the birds fly with the help of their wings. Yes, and also the body feature, their speciality of the body. That also help them in flying. So we will see what is, how is the body of a bird. Huh? What makes the birds fly easily? Not only about the wings, because of their body structure. Hmm? The feature of the specialty of the body also helps them in flying nicely. So again we will see how birds fly. That is what you are going to learn again. Now in one word you can say how birds fly. The birds fly with the help of their wings. That is one thing, the help with their wings. And there are also again features which make them to fly. 
one is their body have you anybody had a uh, taken a bird in your hand huh yes yes is it does it have not that much weight for it no isn't it so their body is in such a way it doesn't have that much weight because the bones of their birds they have hollow bones bones holes on it huh? which make their body weightless understood there will be weight for a bone also now we don't have the holes on the bone huh? it is very dangerous if there are bone, holes on our bones but for them their bones are their bones are hollow bones which reduces the weight of their body so what is the first one their bodies are lighter light weighted bodies which makes the body light hollow bones they have hollow bones uh, along with me, if you i can keep it will be easy for you to learn hollow bones which make their body lighter which make their body lighter lighter means it reduces the weight of them weight of their body that is the first feature of the birds their body is so light uh, light body because of the hollow bones yes then the second one the second one is their body is uh, shaped in such a way a boat shaped uh, which help them to fly in such a way that their body shape is designed to them while flying that is a boat shaped structure like a boat shape uh, now it's not uh, that is not so fat like that it is having such a design that it helps them to fly that's the next one so body shape body shape is designed to help them while flying a boat shaped design boat shaped body which make them to fly yes that is the second one then they have what's the next one they have wings they have wings to fly they have wings to fly then what do they, then how do they change the direction with the help of the tail help them to change direction while flying help them to change direction The tail helps them to change direction while flying. So first one is the wings which help them to fly. Then how do the, have you seen the birds flying? They will flip their wings up and down while they are flying. And some birds can without flapping their wings they fly for a long time. Eagles and all. Have you seen that? Yes. Some, some will be going on flapping their wings. Then they will fly. Yes. Then what is in it? The body is in such a way they are light weighted body for them because of the hollow bones. They are light weighted body and the body is uh, designed in such a way which helps them to fly. Then tail helps them to change the direction while they are flying. These are the ways the birds fly. The birds are flying. Now, do you know that are all the birds, can all the birds fly? Are there any bird which cannot fly? Yes, there are birds. In the birds itself, there are birds which cannot fly at all. They have wings, but they cannot fly. Then there are birds which can fly only for short distance. Only a short distance. There are birds like that also. Okay. <coughs> so, can you give an example for a bird that cannot fly at all? Yes, ostrich. Ostrich. It's a very big bird. It's a large bird. But... It can, it cannot, it can run. It will run fast, but it cannot fly. Ostrich. Yes, another one. Find out another bird which cannot fly. Okay. Find out one more bird which cannot fly. And also there are some birds which can fly only for a short distance. Only for a short distance. One is the, uh, the, the what is it? The meat of it we will eat. What is it? Hen, hen, it can, it will fly only for a, have you seen the hen flying for a long distance? No, from, if, if it want to climb on a wall, just it will flap the wings and it will be on the wall. Like that, only that much it can fly. That is one bird which can fly only for a short distance. 
another one is there that also you find out so one work for you this time is find out a bird which cannot fly at all one i have said that is ostrich one more bird which cannot fly at all another bird is the birds which can fly only for a small distance only a little distance they can fly one is hen is another one you find out one more thing one more bird you find out that is the work okay so by this a chapter only this much chapter is not fully over only till there will be for your exam <coughs> for your first term exam the next part i'll take after the on holidays yes till here will be for your exam in this chapter what you have to learn mostly is the the diagram what i have shown no need of drawing the top, bird and all you have to find out i will be marking and giving which part is this you should be able to find out which is that part yes and how are the birds able to fly what are the features what specialties make a bird to fly so it is better to copy this and keep these are the features which make a bird to fly okay by this our chapter is over thank you children have a nice day